In this video, let's look at SMOT, which is a popular technique to deal with class imbalances in datasets. Let's look at an example. Here is an example of a dataset for fraud detection, where we expect the number of fraudulent transactions to be lesser than the number of normal transactions. And this is expected, right? And this is an imbalanced dataset. And when we try to learn models on imbalanced datasets, we might end up with biased model. So how do we actually counter this? So some of the popular techniques to work with imbalanced datasets are uh, either undersampling, which is removing some points from the, popular, the bigger class so that the number of points equals that of the smaller class, right? But when we have very few points in the smaller class, uh, it might not be maybe such a great idea because we'll end up with a really small data set. Uh, another technique is random oversampling, where you take any of these points in the minority class and you just keep adding that same point at random to the data set so that the total number of data points sort of matches that of the majority class or gets closer to the majority class in number, right? So that's random oversampling, but uh, a popular technique to actually address this is SMOT, where in random oversampling, you're sort of using the same points and uh, to sort of repeat the same points more times so that you have as many uh, minority class points. But in SMOT, you're actually trying to create new points to sort of balance the number of data points in the minority and the majority classes. So this is random oversampling where you're sort of like trying to give more weights to points maybe because you're repeating some of these points again. Uh, but SMOT actually attempts to create new points in order to uh, make the distribution more equal for the majority and the minority classes. So let's take like a rough intuitive, uh, let's look at a quick intuitive overview of how SMOT works. Suppose these are the points of your minority class and we sort of zoom in here. So SMOT works by taking like, let's say you want to take, you know, the three nearest neighbors. So SMOT looks at the nearest neighbors of a point and it would take like, you know, the point connecting this point and its neighbor. And if you look at the line connecting them, it would try to introduce a new point somewhere on this line. So you generate a random number between zero and one and you sort of, you know, pick a point between these two uh, data points based on you know your random number so you will end up getting some point on this line right and you keep repeating that essentially and what you will end up is something like this so if you actually have uh, you will end up getting more and more data points between the data points that you originally had right and uh, you sort of get a little bit of a peculiar structure but you do get more minority data points and your distribution sort of is equalized with new data points that did not originally belong to the minority set, right? So this is SMOT. And uh, you can actually uh, use the implementation of SMOT that is available. So there is an imbalanced learn package where uh, there's like an implementation of SMOT and you can uh, just sort of uh, uh, import SMOT and you know, you can, you're just making this classification data set and then you're saying SMOT and then uh, you're saying resample X, Y, and it sort of uh, gets the distribution um, closer. So for instance, here you had like, you know, 900 ones and uh, you had only 100 zeros. And you see that here you have like, you know, 900 zeros and 900 ones. So it sort of equalizes the number of data points in the majority and minority classes. So we looked at SMOT, which is a popular technique for dealing with class imbalance in datasets. And there are many other ways of dealing with uh, class imbalances, which we can see in other videos. Thank you.